Hi guys, welcome to episode 20 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Today is round two of the Goth family. So this is Dina, Alexander, little Fabian, and their dog Susie. Um, last time we played the Goth family, Alexander aged up to a teen. Dina gave birth to little Fabian Goth, and he aged up to a toddler. And unfortunately, Mortimer passed away. After I ended the video, their little dog Susie aged up to an adult dog. And she is so adorable. She turned into this little Spitz uh, type of dog. She is so cute, and I think she's just perfect for this family. Um, I also gave Alexander a little bit of a makeover. Let me select him so you can see him. I gave him a little stubble on his uh, chin because he's becoming a man. And I gave him some nicer glasses that I liked better. I let him keep this horrible outfit that he aged up into because that's what he wanted to wear. I also decorated his room. And let me put the walls up. And I just sort of made it more um, suitable for a teenage boy. I gave him a computer, a phone, some posters and books, a bulletin board, a little closet. And uh, just try to make it more, more him. Alexander is now 15 years old, so he's going off to college in two days. And Dina is 29, and little Fabian is two years old. He has just aged up to a toddler. Let's see, what else? There's something else. Oh yeah, I need to send these graves to the cemetery. And I did create a Pleasant View cemetery. cemetery. I, had, I had been using the large flowery fields, which I think is a really great cemetery lot. But I wanted something that was more suited to my Pleasant View Sims. So I created the Pleasant View Cemetery. And I'll put a link up here in the corner if you're interested in that. I have a speed build video you can watch. And you can also download it for yourself if you want to use it. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to send Michael Bachelor. we are going to send his grave to the cemetery, Pleasant View Cemetery, um, and we're not going to send Mortimer yet. Bye-bye, Michael. And the reason is you need to wait until the ghost comes out of the grave and starts to haunt before you send it to the cemetery um, if you want the ghost to haunt at the cemetery. So I would like for my sims to be able to go to the Pleasant View Cemetery and see some of these ghosts. So Michael Bachelor actually came out of his grave um, right after I finished recording the last video uh, as I was playing them through that night. I'd waited all week for him to come out and he didn't come out until I finished recording. So he's been out so I've sent him. We're going to wait until Mortimer shows up. We're just going to leave his grave out here in the yard. And once his ghost comes out, then we'll send him to the cemetery as well. And I don't know 100% what the reason for this is, but everything I've read says you need to wait until their ghost comes out before you send them if you want to see their ghost on the, on the community lot. So I'm not going to take any chances. We'll just wait for him to come out. Now let's take a look at what everybody wants to do. Um, oh, he got a negative memory of that? What did you get a negative memory of? Michael died? <laughs> okay, he was already dead, Alexander. That's kind of weird. I didn't know they would get that memory. Um, but I wanted to look at little Fabian's um, personality because we didn't do that last time after he aged up. And he is just so cute. Oh my gosh, I love that little hair he's got. Let's take a look at his personality. Where am I going? Right here. Okay, he is a Libra. He is a romance sim. Wow, I think this is our third romance sim in this generation. So things are going to get really interesting whenever these got, these uh, kids and toddlers age up. It's going to make it very interesting when I'm trying to pair them up and have them have, them have babies. Because I don't, my romance sims usually don't get married. Um, the only exception to that was Don Lothario because he the story was already set in motion for him to marry Cassandra. But, I mean, they never have the want to get married. They usually fear it. So we're going to have at least three Sims in the next generation who probably don't get married and just um, sleep around with each other. So that's going to be really interesting. See, he is very sloppy like his mom. They have the same sloppy points, and he's he's pretty lazy, but he's not as lazy as Dina. He's very outgoing. Alexander's going off to school. Bye, Alexander. 
He's very outgoing, playful, and he's really nice. Um, he's got the same, almost the same playful and nice. He's a lot like Dina. I'm just not quite as lazy as her and a little less playful. So that's really interesting. He's a lot like his mom, but he's a romance sim. Okay, he needs to be potty trained immediately. We're going to work on that. Get him to the potty, Dina. He is almost potty trained. He might actually make it this time. Come on. Come on, you can do it, Fabian. Oh, he made it. Yes, he's potty trained. So we've got th about three more days to work on his other toddler skills. <laughs> She's really happy for him. And he's going to go play in the toilet. Get out of the toilet. Go. All right. And Dina, she wants to get a job in the law career. Oh my gosh, my dogs are barking. Sorry about that. Dina wants to get a job in the law career and get another puppy. Um, as soon as she finishes in the bathroom, I'm going to have her put Fabian to bed because he is exhausted. And then we're going to have her look for a job. So go find a job. Who's this guy? Richard Pittman. Wow. Education, no. Paranormal, no. Law enforcement, not quite. Military. And politics, no. So, she's going to have to go down to the unemployment office to get a job. Or I might just have her try again tomorrow because she's pretty lazy. I don't think she'd even go down to the unemployment office. Now we're going to have Dina adopt another puppy because she wants to, and um, that'll give little Susie a friend. We're going to call uh, service. Seems like every time I play Dina, she wants to get tons of dogs, and she's not even a family sim. She, I think she just likes little dogs. So we're going to do pet adoption service. Oh no, give up pet, no. Pet oh, adoption Susie service. In She's very bad at training her dogs because you can see the puddles of pee all over. So she's going to get a little dog. Um, and there are no... She wants a puppy. So there are no named puppies. So we're just going to take this first little one. He's friendly, smart. Oh, he's aggressive. I don't want an aggressive dog with the other dog. Let's find one that's not aggressive. This one's cowardly. Independent, hyper, and a genius. Okay, we'll take this little girl here. And we're going to give her a name of... I'm going to name her Cookie. I used to have a little dog named Cookie when I was a little girl, so that's where I got the name from. <laughs> Not very creative with pet names, and it doesn't matter that much. Yes, we want to adopt Cookie. <laughs> Alright, so they're coming to drop off our new dog. We only have one dog bed. I wonder if we should buy... We should probably buy a second one. Alright, let's see. We can just buy another one of the same kind. trying to find one that's like a color similar to something that matches her house but there's not really anything so we'll just buy this one and then when Susie wakes up I'm going to turn that bed around back there all right our new puppy is here she needs a name her name is Cookie and Dina is very happy she got her puppy oh my gosh now she wants to get a kitten I don't, I don't think so, Dina. <laughs> Where's our little pup? Oh my gosh, here she is. 
All right, come pick up your new puppy and bring her inside. She wants to invite Dawn over. I cannot believe this. I guess we can try. Hopefully they won't get in another fight. It's Monday at 6 p.m., so everybody has aged up a day. Dina is now 30 years old, Alexander is 16, and Fabian is 3. In one day, Alexander is going to age up. So do I have his age right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so he's going to age up. That's not right. I'm off somewhere. I guess he's actually 16, and now he's turning 17, and he's going to be 18 tomorrow. So I must have lost a year somewhere. So Alexander is now 17, and little Fabian is 3. So tomorrow, Alexander will be going off to college. So I think we need to spend some time with him before he goes. Um, oh, he's in a relationship with Lucy. That's right, he's going to study with Lucy, but he really doesn't have any other friends as a teenager at all. He doesn't have a want to get any friends, though. He just wants to work on his creativity and play with his, teach his dog a command and grow up well and go to college. So... If he goes to college friendless, that's his own his own problem. Okay, it's the next morning at 9 a.m. Fabian's asleep. Alexander is at school. I think this would be a good time for her to invite Dawn over. Since that's what she wants to do. Um, he might be at work, but we're going to try. Oh, he's coming over. He was available. Oh my gosh, did this dog just pee in the floor again? It takes forever to potty train these. And now she's got two dogs who are peeing in the floor and digging holes. <laughs> digging holes in the yard. And all she does is scold them. Okay, here's Dawn. Alright, greet Dawn. I wonder how she's going to greet him. Oh, she gave him the cold shoulder big time, but she also thinks he's hot. She's, like, so torn in between her feelings for him. She really, really thinks he's hot, and she's really, really mad at him for sleeping with her sister. Why don't you guys go inside and try to talk? She wanted to invite him over, but now she has no wants to, like, talk to him or anything, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes, I guess. She's going to go and poke him. I think she might have just invited him over so that she could fight with him. She's not over this, obviously, at all. He's crying. She's going to go slap him now. She's cracking her knuckles. She is mad. Wow. I was really thinking that maybe they could reconcile, but I keep hoping and it's just never going to happen. She wants to, oh, she's going to be slapped. He's going to slap her. I have a feeling they're going to get in another fight. Oh my gosh. And then she's just going to turn around and love on her dog a little bit. Oh, these gross plates everywhere. Dina is so gross. She's even got a maid and her house is still a filthy mess. I think Don, no, he's going to get the paper. I thought he was going to leave. And they have a negative 100 relationship and negative 93. It's almost completely maxed out enemies. I'm going to have Alexander call Lucy and invite her over because he has to go to college. I want him to say goodbye to her before he leaves. I feel like, you know, it's his girlfriend, his teenage girlfriend, that's totally something he would do, even though he doesn't really have the want for it. Alright, Lucy's here. Go greet her, Alex. Oh no! Oh boy. Dawn and Dina are in a fist fight again. She totally just wanted to invite him over so she could get in another fight with him, because she's clearly not... Not over this. Oh. 
It looks like Dawn is really kicking her butt again. I don't know why she keeps provoking him. I don't know. It looks like she might have got the upper hand a couple times there. Oh, yeah. Okay, she won that fight. She kicked Dawn's butt. And now she's attracted to him. What is going on, Dina? Say goodbye. Ask him to leave. This is just not ever going to work. You guys are terrible. You're absolutely terrible together. Alex and Lucy are outside playing rock, paper, scissors in the middle of the street. Alexander and Lucy have been hanging out and um, getting a chance to spend some time together before Alexander has to go to college. But it's getting late in the day. He's going to have to go now and call college and see if he apply if he can get any scholarships all right apply for scholarships he doesn't qualify for any other scholarships but he does have seventy eight hundred dollars in his bank account um, he got a pretty large uh, inheritance after Mortimer passed away let's check his money yeah, 7,800 simoleons. He got 7,700 from Mortimer when Mortimer died, and then he got 100 simoleons from some distant relatives who gave him a gift when he was a child. That's going to be enough to cover his first semester and part of his second semester, um, so he won't have to take out as many loans um, as some of the other students probably will. We're going to go ahead and have him call and go to college now. He's got an hour and a half to get out. Alexander is about to leave this household and move to college. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we do. Oh, Dina's going to tell him goodbye. He doesn't really have that great of a friend of a relationship with her, but he is friends with his little brother Fabian. It's now Wednesday morning, and Dean is looking for a job on the computer, and there is an opening in the law career track as a legal biller. Um, hours 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., 338 simoleons a day. She is going to take it. Um, so I think she's going to have to go to work today, which means we're going to have to hire a nanny right away. Call service. Oh, what's she doing? Oh, he needs to go in the crib. Okay. All right, all right. Hold on. There's like a whole traffic jam going on here. And, okay, what time does she get off? Four? And, so we're going to have to have Fabian's birthday party as soon as she gets home. Oh, Alexander's bank deposit account has gained interest of 400 million, so he's still getting interest even though he's not on this lot. So I need to make a note of that. That's great news for him. Every little bit is going to help him in college. <laughs> Dina's going to call the nanny. Um, let's see, nanny. Track schedule, please. And she's going to get ready for her first day of work. Dina just got home from her first day of work, and she brought a friend home, uh, Jennifer Burb, who also works in the law career. So maybe this will be the beginning of a friendship for them. I kept getting the pop-up while she was at work that Cookie was starving. Uh, I'm really worried she's going to have her dog taken away if she does not get that bowl filled immediately. Oh, boy. This dog is, like, literally starving to death. Okay, now get out of the way of the bowl, and hopefully she'll come to it immediately. And we need to throw a birthday party right now, because we have an hour and a half until Fabian ages up. We're going to invite her friend Brandy, of course. I'm trying to see. She doesn't really know any children. To invite. 
and she can't invite her sister because she hates her sister. So it's just, we can invite John over since Jennifer's here. And we don't know any kids, so maybe I'll summon some kids over. Let's see. We're going to summon over... Who are the other children in, in her generation? Or in Fabian's generation? Lothario. Eva can come over. There we go. Eva can come over to play with Fabian. Not everybody showed up. I figured that would happen. Probably John. Alright, let's get a birthday cake. Let's get rid of these. Oops, don't grab a plate. Get rid of these sandwiches. Oh, Cookie's going to eat, thank goodness. All right. Oh, Brandy's here, Eva's here, and Jennifer's here. Let's go get Fabian and bring him to his cake. <coughs> Jennifer's just standing in the bathroom doorway. Oh, thank goodness little Cookie's eating. That was close. That was really close. She wants Susie to get a job. Okay, we can probably do that. Eva's playing with Susie. The birthday party is a snoozer. What is this nanny still doing here? Okay. Oops. I'm not even paying attention and little Fabian's about to age up. So let me get a picture of him. I'm trying to get not get Jennifer Bourbon there. Aww. Birthday party's still a snoozer. But I think it'll get better once he ages up and he can start to play. Oh my gosh, here comes the stinky dog. Blow out the candles, Fabian. Aww. Here he goes. <laughs> well, he looks exactly the same. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. All right, I want to really look at him now. Oh my gosh, he is handsome. I love his long hair that he um, aged up with. Fabian has grown into a child. As a toddler, he achieved the aspiration level of miracle might. That's fantastic. Even though he didn't learn um, to walk or talk, um, he just learned to use the potty because Dean is lazy and didn't want to teach him his toddler skills. He still achieved miracle might. And you know what else? I feel really bad that Alexander's not here. <laughs> I forgot to invite him, and he's friends with his brother, so I'm going to summon him really quick. I think he'll still show up under Goth. Or not. I guess the Goth family doesn't show up here. Well, never mind. I can't figure out how to summon him. So I guess he's not going to be here. He's too busy getting settled into college, I guess. Alright, it looks like uh, Fabian likes the color red. The color's red and orange. I'm going to send him upstairs to change into his everyday outfit so we can see what he looks like. All the ladies are having a great time downstairs. This is supposed to be his birthday. And they're all just partying away down here. <laughs> Alright, let's change. Okay, he's wearing, well, 
you know, it's not great, but that's what he chose. At least it kind of matches khakis, sneakers, and a little polo shirt. So he likes red and orange. Um, I'll give him red as his favorite color since it's first. I don't know how to choose. I'm just going to give him red. All right, Fabian, go back downstairs and join the party. Does he have logic level five? He, wow, he just spent his whole toddler life um, on that little block toy getting the logic skill. He wants to make a friend, so why don't you go talk to Eva? All right, everybody's having a really good time. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. There's only a few seconds of the party left. Um, little Fabian, he got all tired and he had to pass out on the couch. He just couldn't make it through. But it was a good party. He got to play with Eva some. Um, Eva is actually his niece, which is really weird. <laughs> They're both going to be romance sims in the same generation, but they're related, so there's not going to be any romance between the two of them. Everybody's going home. I mean, all the ladies just danced the night away down here and had a really great time. Um, Fabian, he's going to go to bed now, and we're going to make this his room. Uh, tomorrow, after he goes to school, I'm going to remodel this and make it uh, more like a little boy's room. It's 4.30 in the morning. Dina's up early and getting ready for work. She has rolled the want to buy a car. So I'm going to go into build mode and build her a little driveway and get her a car. We still have seen no sign of Mortimer's ghost. So I'm still waiting for that. Let's get her a driveway. I'm gonna put a little gate over here so you can come into the yard that way. I'm gonna lock that for pets and then we're gonna buy her a car so she has plenty of money to get any kind of car she wants. I don't think she would get this sports car. I don't really know what she would, I need some more custom cars. Really, I do. I'm gonna get her one of these little um, Renault that was covered converted from The Sims 3. I like this little car and I'm going to get her a little black one. I think that looks like something impractical that Dina would drive. Okay, she's got a car now. Good for her. She continues to want to get more puppies and she barely takes care of the puppy she has. Um, I'm not really going to let her do that right now. <laughs> Because they don't have any room for any more dogs. And look how filthy the house is. She needs to wash this dog right now. Okay, Dina and Fabian are off. Uh, Dina's off at work and Fabian's off at school. I'm going to use this time to remodel Alexander's old room and make it Fabian's room. We're also going to get rid of the crib and the baby stuff because Dina's not even in a relationship and I don't think she's going to have a baby anytime soon. If she does, we can rebuy the stuff because she has plenty of money. Okay, I finished remodeling Fabian's room and I sort of left the same layout that Alexander had. Um, he has the same bed. I just gave him new bedding. I put up some more childlike pictures. I gave him a toy box and a shelf here with some books, some different lamps, a little piggy over here and I just sort of made it look like a little boy's room a little boy who likes the color red I guess <laughs> and I don't really know what Fabian's hobby is or what he likes to do yet so we might add something or change this around once we know more about him I just wanted to give him some kind of space that was his own for now and we got rid of all the baby stuff as well 
I'm going to end part one of this episode here before it gets too long. I completely forgot to have Dina pay her taxes this week, so I'm going to take care of that first thing in part two of this episode. And uh, not too much happened in this part, I guess. Dina and Dina is still struggling to get over her Dawn's betrayal, and she is clearly not over it, so she keeps picking fights with him. Alexander went off to college, and little Fabian aged up to a child, so I guess we had a few events here. Um, in part two... Dina is going to get back on the saddle as far as relationships go, and she's going to pursue another relationship. We're going to see where that takes her, so join me for part two. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Um, you can also check out my blog at PleasantSims.com if you are interested in any of the mods I use, my gameplay rules, or if you want to see my sim profiles and family trees. Again, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you with part two of episode 20 very soon.